one of the important criteria of his of ee is criteria c which is critical thinking and this uh, and the strands which we look forward for criteria c is research analysis and discussion and evaluation so when i talk about research and when we talk about history ee definitely research plays a very important part and it refers to the critical engagement of uh, with the past through relevant sources so student should be able to construct and present a support and support effectively a specific argument or a position that provides a response to the research question um this argument which the student will develop is been supported or analyzed by the by considering the value and limitation of the research material the research which has been done to support the research question the different sources used to support the research question analysis of the different sources and discussions of the uh, of the material found and the content from that uh, material found during the by from different sources so the uh, is is which will bring about an argument or which will make the criteria c a very strong criteria students should demonstrate the knowledge gained from the selected sources um that can that can be analyzed on the basis of their analysis form an argument and and reach to a conclusion so it goes in a sequence that you have a research question to support that research question to make validity of that research question the student looks into different type of sources um uh, considering the value and limitation of the research material puts into an argument and uh, that's the analysis of the sources uh, puts in when the analysis of sources is been done you create an argument and that argument will reach to a conclusion which will support your research so the conclusion should support our research question that is how the whole process of criteria c would look like the initial process now when we talk about analysis and discussion and evaluating of sources once we once the student or once we have found out a a source uh, we will guide the students in uh, in bringing in analyzing the source and bringing out different discussions which are which come out of those sources and form, and then evaluate the sources in the light of the research question and bring out an argument so uh, the essay in which the student are going to present the idea or concept that relate consistently to the analysis of the research question whatever the idea and concept the student has in their mind and has represented it to an rq uh, a proper support should be given to throughout the extended essay by uh, through different sources and the analysis done of those sources should be consistent and should not be get diverted from the rq uh we also uh, the points contained in an argument and analysis also should always support the uh, relevant uh, or should always support the rq uh, through a relevant material being chosen many a time the students would come um, across a different different uh, materials different research materials which are not uh, which are not valid for their research which do not um, which are not valid for their research but uh, um, they support uh, they they show a different perspective to their research such a source could be used by a student seeing that they can come across the source though it was not um, though it was not very much valid to their research but some they it gave a different idea and concept to their research when such one or two sources are included and an argument or an explanation is given by the student in the ee uh it brings about an argument in the essay as we know that history ee or any other ee uh, should be an argumentative ee not a narrative and a descriptive ee so when would an argument come referring to different sources bringing out the different ideas from the different sources bringing out different historians in the uh, historians preview of that particular topic and then coming to a conclusion which should be further much uh, which should give a little bit further study um uh, to that particular topic so when you conclude the extended essay um through different uh, 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 extended essay there has there has to be some scope given for the further study conclusion further study of that particular topic that is how 
criteria C becomes very important and critical analysis comes into the criteria. Uh, the evaluation of sources is very very important in history EE because what type of sources are you going to select, what type of sources are you going to use um, plays a very important role in justifying your RQ and giving a proper uh, conclusion and bringing about a very good argument in history EE. The sources which are uh, which are valid, which are relevant, which have come through proper channel uh, should be integrated into the text rather than separate section of the essay. It should provide a useful info information and insight to the source or a historian opinion that student is referring to support to their argument. We should always remember the 10 year rule and we should adhere to it because if we don't adhere to it, uh, a minimum of only 3 marks would be awarded in this criteria. So, in, to, in short, if we summarize the checklist for criteria C, we would see that uh, it says that uh, 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 the student has to just check that whether the links between your results and data collected and your research question is there properly. If the included data or information that is not directly related to research question have been explained its importance. Um, are, you, are, uh, are your conclusions supported by the data? Uh, if you found an unexpected information or data, have you discussed its importance that why have you used that data? Have you provided a critical evolution to the methods you selected? Have you considered the real, uh, uh, reliability of your sources? That means is the, uh, if it's a journal article, is it a previewed journal? Is it from an internet, an authentic source? If the book is there, what is the book used? Because to give you the example of source, um, if we select a source, suppose if we speak about uh, uh, if we speak about the history of a two country which were first united into from many years and then there was a separation, the source of that history from do, both the countries' perspective would be very different. The that it would it would be very different from one country's perspective, the history, the past, and for the other country. So it depends on it will depend on students thinking as which source to select, how to select and use it properly uh, um, in the in the essay to give a proper justification to the research question that they have chosen. All the suggestions of errors are important are relevant. Uh, have you evaluated your research question? Um, have you compared your results or finding to any other source? If there are any other sources which had a similar research, have you at least gone through and looked into the findings so that you get an idea as about how uh, is your research not getting, um, uh, on what, on what uh, lens have you done your research? Is there an argument that is clear and essay to follow? And there is a direct link to answering your research question and which is supported by evidence, which is very, very important. Um, citation plays a very important role over here. Uh, giving a proper in-text citation and giving a proper um, citation page will show the different sources, will show the different uh, uh, I, uh, argument in the essay and will help the student develop this criteria C. 